from the home of rock and roll on 95, it is Pam Brooks, and I whispered at you guys. And now my heart is pounding and my thighs are quivering, because quivering uh, frankly, even after all these years, my heart still pounds and my thighs quiver when I get the chance to say, ladies and gentlemen, it's Vince Neal from Molly Crew. Hey! Hey, how are you doing? I'm great, Vince. How are you? Uh, everything's awesome. Really, come here and put your hand between my breastbone, because my heart is indeed pounding. <laughs> I love that. Thank you. I thought you might. I love the thought of it. Webster Bank Arena in Bridgeport is the spot for uh, the final tour on October 16th. And, of course, i got to tell people they can get their tickets through Ticketmaster. So the final tour. And, you know, I thought today... If people went online and they Googled you or they Googled Motley Crue, I mean, the list is just long for all of the band's accomplishments and, and your accomplishments. And But 30 years plus later of doing all the touring, when you think about accomplishments for you, what what's on your bucket list? Something that you're like, dude, I just have not done this and I need to. Oh, man, that, that's a tough one because I... I feel like I've done everything I've ever wanted to do. I mean, the last thing I just wanted to do was, uh, you know, as a band, too, we always want to play rock in Rio, you know, in Rio. And uh, we just played it last Saturday. So it was, that was pretty amazing. Cross that one off. <laughs> but, um, uh, you know, that if you look back on, the, on, on our career, you know, 34 years, um, done some pretty cool stuff, you know. And um, I can't think of anything else, I, I, you know, that I haven't done. Uh, that I still want to do. All right. Well, then it's been a great, great life, and you can just you know, go home and say, yeah. it's time for me to relax. After all of these years of, of doing it, have the, the touring rituals for you personally or for you and the band, have they changed a lot from the rituals you had when you were getting ready to, to go out on the road all those years ago? Uh, maybe not not really getting ready to go out on the road, but maybe just being on the road. It's, you know, it's, obviously it's changed a lot from we were, you know, in your early twenties, and you know, it's the you know the early eighties, and you're just you, you first time out on the road, and you know, your first experiences in different cities and countries. Um, now, thirty five years later, you know, we've pretty much been everywhere and, and, and kind of done that. And people say, "Why did you go out and look at the city?" I go, well, "No, we've seen it." You know. So, yeah, we just need to play a rock show, and, and and that's it. All right, so pretty much back to the the bucket list thing. It, it's it's been done. You've done it all. Yeah, exactly. Well, and I also, um, since Motley Crue is certainly worldwide, and and I ninety five has listeners worldwide, I decided that I would throw it out to the listeners and and take some questions from them that I could ask of you. So um, I heard from uh, Linda in New Jersey, and she asked me to ask you what the inspiration for Home Sweet Home was. Uh, well, I, I mean, uh, Nikki wrote the lyrics to that song. Uh, I, I just wrote the melody to it. Um, but what Nikki says, he told me, he said his inspiration was actually when I was in jail. And uh, that's where the Home Sweet Home came from. <laughs> Well, then I have to tell you, and maybe you can you can pass it along to him. I have a really dear friend and like some serious chick power. My my friend Lori fought in Desert Storm, and um, I want you to know and the band to know that Home Sweet Home was just a big big song for her whole unit when they were over there all those years ago fighting in Desert Storm. So um, you can take wow. that one that one to heart. That's pretty cool. Um, That's speaking really cool. speaking of Nikki's, I have a friend uh, that listens to us in Florida, and she said that. Uh, Aside from the money and fame, what's been the best part of being the lead singer of the iconic band that we've all come to know and love, Motley Crue? Well, I mean, for me, it's it's awesome because I get to see everybody, you know, and I get to talk to everybody, and I get to uh, you know to sing to everybody. Um, being the lead singer, um, you're just out, you're out there, and you, you got to you, your job is to entertain everybody. You know, and um, it's been fun. You know, every single concert has been amazing by entertaining people, and, and you get you, know, you give them energy, and they give you energy right back. So it's uh, it's been a it's been a blast. 
I bet it has. And, and um, um, I have an author friend, Faith, who's in uh, Tennessee, and she said that, that the band's music has always inspired her as she's been writing. And she said, now that you guys are ready to, you know, sort of hang it up, are, are you personally going to continue making music? Uh, will it still be rock music? Um, or maybe you're just going to, you know, stay on the golf course for a change? <laughs> No, no. The thing is about me is I, I've had my solo band for about 15 years. Yeah. And when Motley doesn't tour, I, I tour with my band, so I never really stop being on the road. No, I know that. And, so, but you're going to keep yeah. doing that. Yeah. And, you know, it, it's funny because even when uh, uh, you know, Motley ends New Year's Eve, you know, I have a show, I have a show starting on January 10th. So uh, I just kind of keep, I keep going, you know, and I, you know, I, I have a lot of plans with the solo band. Um, you know, in the future, putting out another record and going out on tour and and uh, you know, continuing the rock and roll tradition. You know, just like you know, Nicky's gonna got his thing going and mm-hmm. Tommy's gonna be touring, I guess. And you know, I hear Mick's gonna put out another record. So uh, yeah, we're all gonna have fun. Uh, you know, doing the the afterlife of Mahalo. <laughs> And as you bring the final tour again to uh, the Webster Bank Arena in Bridgeport, uh, Connecticut, on October 16th, um, speaking of the final tour and fun, besides the usual fun and mayhem, anything out of the ordinary that people can expect? Well, I mean, the stage is, is um, you know, something like you've never seen before. It's like a giant transformer. It comes to life with fire and arms. Oh, my God. Things moving. It's the biggest thing that we've ever done, the biggest thing I've ever seen. It's uh, it's pretty uh it's pretty amazing so uh looking forward to having you guys check this out do you have a hand in uh, the design of that yeah we all do we all say we all look at each other and go oh, yeah I, I, you know what? i want to fly around the stage and tom is i want to do like a roller coaster thing and mix so i want to you know and and then we just ask the engineers you know is this possible <laughs> and then if it is possible they build it Awesome. And, and my, uh, my last question, like I said, uh, you guys are worldwide. I-95 uh, is uh, on the Internet. People listen to us all over the place. My friend Miles wants to know, it, personally for you, if, if the band or, or pursuing a music career hadn't worked out for you, what do you think you'd be doing now? Yeah, if it didn't work out, what are you doing? Yes. If, if music had never come into your life, if Motley Crue had never come into your life, what would you, Vince Neil, be doing now? I don't know. I would probably hope that because I'm, you know, my second love was always uh, racing cars. You know, but uh, hope that I would have gotten a, you know, had a, uh, a career in that. That would have, that have been a lot of fun uh, do, racing Indy cars. I totally get the need for speed. Absolutely, and and we've got some cool tracks here in Connecticut, so you might want to take a little time out and. Yeah. And do Absolutely. some racing. <laughs> awesome. Well, again, the final tour, uh, Webster Bank Arena in Bridgeport. Tickets available through Ticketmaster. The show is October 16th. I appreciate you taking a little bit of time out of your day, Mr. Vince Neal. And I will tell you, uh, again, if you put your hand between my breastbone, the, the heart yeah, is right. still pounding. <laughs> we'll do that in a couple of weeks. We'll see you there. Absolutely. Take care. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Bye.